Today we're going to talk about how you can use PDFs to save you time and money. We're going to be talking about document security and making it so people can't access the content of a document. You see, there are four different options when it comes to security. You can require a password to open a document. You can restrict a document from editing and printing. You can also enable copying of images, text, and other content or disable it so that nobody can do that. Or you can make it so they can't extract pages, but they can do everything else. I'm going to first start by talking about how to make it so that a document requires a password to open. So if you don't have Adobe Acrobat Standard or Pro, you can, from within Word, go to File. Now, first off, I have my document open, right? So my March newsletter content, super secret, don't want anybody to know about it. I can go to File, and I can go to Save As. I can browse from my location that I'm going to save the document. Maybe I'm going to put it on the desktop. I'm then going to go and I'm going to do save as type and I'm going to pull down a PDF. Here I then have the option to publish for online printing or I'm sorry, publish for online and printing or minimize to just publishing online. Remember the difference here is when you publish online, it's going to shrink the images to make them download faster. I then choose the options tab. Now I have all sorts of things about page range and publishing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the very bottom one where it says encrypt the document with the password and I'm going to check it. Then I'm going to hit OK and it's going to ask me for the password. It's going to ask me to type it twice, which I've done, and then I can save my document. After I save the document, Adobe Acrobat is going to open up and it's going to ask me for the password because it wants to make sure that I can open it. If I put in the wrong password, it's going to say, hey, you made a mistake. If I can then put in the correct password, it'll open the document. It's going to say secured at the top to indicate that this document is actually secured. And it's going to allow me to um, access, review this document. Now, if I click on security settings, it says this document has an open password or modify password. If I click permission details, it'll show me all of the details about this particular security setting. Now, the only thing that I can control is opening from Microsoft Word, meaning that with Microsoft Word, when I set a password like this, I'm only encrypting the document so that folks can't open it. I can't do all this other stuff like content copying and making it so they can't print it and all this other these other neat options. In order to do these options, I really need to have Adobe Acrobat Standard or Adobe Acrobat Pro. One last note, if you forget your password, you cannot recover it from the PDF. Basically, the data inside that PDF is lost. You can also not set passwords to signed or certified documents. The last thing I want to mention before we let you go today is how to protect yourself from PDF phishing. Phishing is an attempt to acquire your information by masquerading as somebody else. When somebody goes and convinces you to type your username or password or maybe your social security number or your credit card information into a PDF and gets you to send it back to them, that's phishing. It's also phishing if they get you to open the PDF and it has embedded code in it, maybe some JavaScript or something like this that's going to run and then take control of your computer. So what we want you to do is we only want you to open documents that are from people you trust and that you expect. Here's an example of a phishing document that I received recently in my email. Notice that this is from Sue Mockridge and she's from the UK. I don't know who she is. I'm not expecting this email. So what this tells me is if I open this document, I run the risk of infecting my computer. So I'm not going to open the document and instead I'm going to delete it. If you get messages from your bank accounts or um, the airlines and it's asking you for, for, for to enter information into a PDF, you know that this is a trap. Don't do it. So that's it how to secure PDFs with passwords, 
and how to protect yourself from phishing, the security that goes along with PDFs.